particularly, I have a budget. I say I need this much money to do all these effects, and I keep what's left, okay? In this case, I had a salary, and they paid for everything I wanted, so I don't know what's on their books. If I said I needed something, it just piled up at the end, and I really have no idea how much it cost. That's a nice thing about being creative, so you don't have to deal yeah, with that. Yeah, to have yeah. the freedom to yeah. request anything you want for the good of the film, and you get it, you know? Well, it comes from your reputation, I'm sure. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Did you ever get into three-dimensional movies? Um, get, get into them personally, sure, I've loved them, but I've never made any, if that's what you mean. Yeah, I did any special effects for them. No, uh, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Um, will you ever be able to use him again in any other movie, or uh, will yeah, be like as a matter of, uh, trademark? Well, legally, I don't know. It depends on how much of him is seen. Like, I might be able to use the hand, let's say the hand coming in and grabbing somebody. It all depends on what the script calls for. If I can use a part of him, I might. Or I might just build another one from scratch again. No. That's so anatomically correct. Uh, how do you know so much about that? Ah, about well, skeletons and things? Yeah. Well, it comes from, you know, you have to study anatomy. There are lots of books out. But personally, I was a combat photographer in Vietnam, and I saw a lot of anatomically correct gore, let's say. And that's all I really want to say about that. What has got to be the most complicated special effect, makeup-wise? Personally? Yeah. Um, I would say it's between Raoul and Fluffy. Now, it's hard for you to realize why Fluffy without seeing him, but Fluffy, to me, is my masterpiece. And when you see Creepshow, you'll, you'll understand why. He is more complicated than this guy. Um, she already asked you what, if you could use him again, but what do you do if you can't? It looks like a lot of work to go to waste after you do the movie. Oh, you're movie. kidding. Do, this, do this you guy, he sits on my dresser at home. <laughs> Fluffy is back there right now waiting for me to come home. You know, I bring people over and they see them, and they're like, they're like if I did, if I was an artist and did a painting and never sold it and it was on my wall, there's my work. Fluffy is my painting sitting at home on my dresser. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, what? He wouldn't want to be invited to dinner to your house. Well, I'm used to it. <laughs> Do you ever just get emotionally attached to these guys? <laughs> I mean, well, I am rather fond of Some of them just become Ooh. your friends. I mean, if you had to scrap that after the movie, how would you feel about no, that? No, I, I wouldn't. Uh, in f I, I try. It was in my contract that I get to keep all these things, you know. Uh, that's the safest thing for me, to, to avoid feelings like that. You know, because yeah. I'm hired to create the monsters for the film. Once the film is over, you know, these are mine. These are my creations, you know. It's interesting. You also have in your contract, I understand, you get to direct those scenes. The, the special effects make up people really having more and more power over the, the whole horror oh, And there's a reason for that. Uh, if I can briefly explain, uh, these, are, these are illusions. These are magic tricks, okay? When a magician uh, fools you, he, he makes you look here while he's doing something down here, okay? Or he's using mechanical devices you know nothing about. The finished result is what fools you. So, in movies, there's this one blank screen and we only show you on that screen what we want to show you using mechanical devices, using continuity tricks and editing to fool you, just like a magician does. Hmm. Do you ever have nightmares? Uh, I used to when I was a kid, but I stopped... I mean, about these things coming to life or coming no, out? No, because they're, they're Rice Krispies and rubber. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's one way to get the nightmares out, really, once sure. you get them out. Oh, yeah. Sure, uh, haven't you heard about somebody who had stage fright, so they want to go be an actor to get that out of the system? Well, in a way, subconsciously or not, you know, essentially that's what happened to me. Movies were ruined for me once I started working in them, because I see all the things that happen behind, you know, the, the mm. scene that we actually see. Out of all the movie, movies you've done, which one was your favorite? Um, the last one, I would say, because uh, my Creep. masterpieces are in them. Creep show, yeah. Creep show, yeah. What's uh, your least favorite? Pardon? What's your least favorite? Well, I did a film called um, Maniac, and that's an example of not not being a. You're never aware of of what the finished film is going to be, or what it's going to look like, or what the mood of it is, or where it's going when you're making it. You know, I'm I'm in there, I'm doing my effects. And then it's up to the director, the editor, as you know, as to what that film becomes. Uh, I would say that in that particular film, uh, it was um, a showcase for my effects, but it's probably the grisliest, goriest film I've ever done. And there's a point where you stop scaring people and you start turning people off. You make them sick. Well, I don't want to do that. And I'm not doing that anymore, as uh, in Creepshow is leading me away from that sort of thing. You know? Yeah, one last question. We have a quick you find question. yourself having a nightmare one night and then creating it the next day for a movie? Oh, uh, well, I can't say truthfully that some of this, the things that I create come from nightmares, but they do come from other people's nightmares. Um, uh, somebody's nightmare, somebody's painting that's a nightmare, night gallery, or uh, 
uh, famous paintings of the past, They're like the, the Bosch paintings, those hideous creatures, you know, yeah. they'll be inspirations, but uh, real life has a lot of horrors in it, and I've seen my share of those, you know, a long time Seeing ago. these horror pictures, they are, it is cartho 